Conflict resolved. Oh, yeah. Is that Aunt Jill's face? It appears Genesis isn't the only one who can be copied. The company training room. Hmm? We used to sneak in there for fun when the seconds were out. Genesis. Angel, and I. You guys were pretty tight. Hmm. I wonder. Infinite in mystery is the gift of the goddess. We seek it thus and take to the sky. Ripples form on the water's surface. The wandering soul knows no rest. Loveless, Act One. <laughs> you remembered. How can I not when you've beaten it into my head? Don't take Sephiroth lightly. <laughs> Noted. That the best you can do. All hail Sephiroth, huh? And Jill, stay back. I'll take Sephiroth alone. Genesis? The world needs a new hero. <laughs> Come and try. So smug, but for how long? You'll destroy us all. <clears throat> That's no way to talk to a hero. Just a scrape. I'll be fine. Don't worry.
Even if the morrow is barren of promises, nothing shall forestall my return. So, was everything all right? Yes. As far as Genesis was concerned. But, as for Angeal... Angeal? What happened? <laughs> Later, I received one of his famous lectures. About what? Always the same. Discipline, dreams, honor, etc. Huh. One of those, huh? So it's true. They're in league with Hollander. How could this happen?
wound was superficial. But for some reason, Genesis wasn't healing. The man who treated him was Hollander. Professor Hollander, how is Genesis? The problem is the Mako energy that seeped him through the wound. <sighs> is it treatable? First, he'll need a transfusion. You aren't viable. Why couldn't I be the donor? A soldier, type G. Hollander's experiment. The result was a normal child, which meant he failed. However, Project G gave birth to the man we know as Genesis. Project G. Project Genesis. Contrary to this report, Genesis showed clear signs of change. Degrading? Not only that. Copies? Hmm. Abominations. Sephiroth! Hollander, I thought I'd find you here. The degradation process. Only I can stop it. Genesis. You won't take Hollander. <clears throat> Zack, go after Hollander. Yeah. <laughs> there is no hate, only joy, for you are beloved by the goddess, hero of the dawn, healer of worlds. Loveless again. You never change. Three friends go into battle. One is captured. One flies away. The one that is left becomes a hero. A common story. If we were to enact it, would I be the one to play the hero? Or would you? It's all yours. Indeed. After all, your glory should have been mine. How petty. In hindsight, perhaps. 
Now what I want most is the gift of the goddess.
Hollander, do you understand what you're doing? <laughs> Working for Hollander now? What is it you're after? World domination. That's not even funny, man. How about revenge? For what? Angeal! I've become a monster. A monster's objective is usually world domination or revenge. You're wrong. Those aren't the wings of a monster. Well then, what are they? Angel's wings. I see. Then what should an angel fight for, Zack? What do angels dream of? Angel. Angels dream of one thing. Please, tell me. To be human. <laughs> Defend yourself! Tell me what happened. Mom? I... I want to help out a friend. But I don't know how I can do it. Hello? Mom? Hello? Hooray! Heaven? Not quite. Church in the <sighs> slums. Hmm? An angel? No, I'm Aerith. You fell from the sky. Huh? Scared me. So you saved me, huh? Not really. Hello! That's all I did. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Aerith. I'm Zack. I have to repay you somehow. Don't worry about it. No, no. Hmm... Uh-huh. Hey, how about one date? What is that? Don't be silly. But... Uh... Stop! Don't step on the flowers! Excuse me? Normally, people are more careful with flowers. Well... I guess I'm not normal. Oh. You don't see a lot of flowers in Midgar. They're like luxury items around here. They only grow here. Although, I planted some outside my house too. <laughs> if I were you, I'd sell them. Hmm? Midgar's full of flowers, your wallet's full of money. Midgar full of flowers. Wallet full of money? 
never thought of it that way. Thank you. 